The Secret of the Crystal Cave. Chapter 5, The Symphony of Giant. In the aftermath of their underwater escapades, Ava and Max were spirited away by the luminescent allure of their crystal pendants to a realm of awe-inspiring grandeur, the realm of giants. This land, where the earth stretched skywards to cradle colossal peaks and forests towered with ancient, sentinel-like trees, was home to beings of immense stature and gentle hearts. Yet, a profound silence pervaded, a stark contrast to the vibrant life that their size suggested. The giants, once the keepers of ancient songs and lore, were rendered voiceless, their communal harmony shattered by an unseen force. The source of this silence was the Whispering Hag, known among the giants as Hespera. Far from the malevolent figure the siblings expected, Hesper was a creature of complex motives. Once a guardian of the giant's oral traditions, she watched over centuries as her role diminished. Her stories and guidance sought less and less as the giants found new ways to record their history. Loneliness crept into her heart as the vibrant gatherings that once filled her days and nights dwindled to nothing. In her despair, Hespera turned to the darker arts of magic, seeking to create a need for her presence by taking away the giant's ability to communicate. She reasoned that, in their need to reclaim their voices, they would turn back to her, to the stories and songs that once defined their culture and unity. But the spell had unintended consequences, isolating the giants further and deepening Hespera's own isolation as the rift between her and the giants grew. Ava and Max, guided by the subtle nudges of the whispering shadow that had become an unseen companion on their journey, sought to understand the root of the giant's silence. Through gestures and the written word, the giants conveyed the tale of their lost voices and the guardian who became their silencer. The siblings realized that to mend the rift in the realm of giants, they needed to address not just the spell, but the loneliness that fueled it. Approaching Hespera's secluded abode, nestled within the heart of a mountain that whispered echoes of long-forgotten tales, Ava and Max found a hag worn by centuries of solitude. Hesper's initial hostility waned as she recognized in their eyes not judgment, but empathy. Over a brew that smelled of earth and age, Hesper shared her tale, her voice a melody of sorrow and longing, recounting the days when her stories were the lifeblood of the giant's culture. Moved by Hesper's story, Ava and Max proposed a new covenant. They suggested a grand gathering where Hespera would lift the spell, and in return, the giants would once again embrace her as their storyteller, their historian. The restoration of the giants' voices would symbolize a new beginning, a reweaving of the social fabric that had frayed but not broken. The plan set in motion, Ava and Max accompanied Hespera to the heart of the realm, where the giants awaited. With a deep, resonant hum from Ava and Max's pendant serving as a beacon, Hespera began the incantation to reverse the spell. As her magic unfurled, it was met with the light from the crystals, intertwining in a dance of shadow and luminescence. One by one, the giants found their voices, each utterance a note in an emerging symphony of rejoicing and reconciliation. The realm vibrated with the sound of laughter, debate, song, and the storytelling that had been its cornerstone. Hespera, once the source of their silence, was now the catalyst for their unity, 
Her stories are bridge between past and future. As Ava and Max prepared to depart, the Whispering Shadow's voice caressed their minds with a promise. The threads of destiny are woven with the voices of many. Your journey intertwines with those whose lives you touch. The realm of giants, now a chorus of voices both towering and tender, stood as a testament to their journey's impact. A journey that was far from over, with the identity of their mysterious guide and their own destinies still to unfold.